get this one. Crystal. Good shot. I warned your majesty I could not handle firearms. As Minister of the Interior, I imagine you have little time to practice this sport. You're very generous, Monsieur Le Comte. Your Majesty! Your Majesty, are you hurt? No, no, no. After the mess! You tried to kill the king. Why? No, I was aiming at a fox. Nothing else. My aim was bad. This man will never tell us anything, Your Majesty. With your permission, let my police take care of this. Perhaps that would be best. Gentlemen. But how did you know he was there? A man who wants to hide his gun should never polish the barrel. It reflects the sunlight. Edmund, it seems as if you're always on hand when I need you. Thank you for my life. Mademoiselle, the Duchess du Berry. You may go, Emile. I wonder that you had the effrontery to come here, Monsieur Thiers. Indeed, Mademoiselle? The news of the attempt on my uncle's life is all over France. I agreed to assume the throne only if my uncle King Louis could be deposed peacefully. And you dared to go against my orders. You would be surprised, my dear Duchess, at how difficult it is to remove a king from his throne by a bloodless political coup. It was to be that way or not at all. I will not be a party to murder. I realize that, my dear Duchess, which accounts for my being here. Arrest her, Sevier. Arrest me? Did you expect any less for hiring an assassin to kill your uncle? I hired a... Fortunately for the king, your plot failed. But the consequences for such an act still await you. So that was your plan. Not to place me upon the throne, but to assassinate the king and make me the scapegoat. May I congratulate you upon your awareness of the situation, Duchess? There's one thing about which you do not seem to be aware, monsieur. One word from me will convict you and everyone else in your little plot. True, my dear Duchess. But the walls of the fortress at Bly are thick. And the headsman's axe will silence the most vociferous of tongues. And now, if you will forgive me, I'll leave you in the hands of my good friend, Sevier. I have a most painful duty to perform. I must inform your uncle, the king, of his niece's most treasonable conduct. Mademoiselle? So? Your Majesty. What have you learned, Thiers? I bring grave news, Your Majesty. The assassin has confessed. He has told us who hired him. Your Majesty. It was the Duchess de Berry. The Duchess de Berry? Yes, sire. I cannot believe it, Thiers. My own niece hiring an assassin to kill me. Oh, impossible. I realize how you must feel, sire. Uh, bring this man to me. I want to hear him make this accusation with his own lips. Unfortunately, the man is no longer alive. What? He died while trying to escape, an overzealous guard. Then bring the Duchess here. She is imprisoned at Bly. The Privy Council has heard the evidence, sire. 
and already ordered her execution. Your Majesty, it's at sundown tomorrow. So the council desires to execute a member of my own house. But the council represents the people of France, sire. It is their wish. Your Majesty, you have my deepest heartfelt sympathy. With your permission. I want to see the Count of Monte Cristo at once. I can't well imagine how you feel, Your Majesty. Your own niece. How can I allow a member of my own family to be executed, no matter what she may have done? And yet I, I cannot openly oppose the judgment of the Privy Council. Edmund, you're the one man in France in whom I can confide. Thank you, sire. That's why I've sent for you, to seek your counsel. To learn, if possibly, you may have an answer to this, this terrible predicament I find myself in. There is one possibility, sire. What is it, Edmund? Get the Duchess out of the country. Oh. What answer is that, Edmund? She is to be executed tomorrow at sundown. And you speak blithely of getting her out of France. Not blithely, sire. Yeah. I know something of the fortress of Bly, and I have two loyal friends to help me. No, Edmund, I cannot allow it. Without my official sanction, and against the expressed desires of the Privy Council, it could mean your head. But if I don't try, it most certainly means the head of the Duchess de Berry. Your niece, sire. Godspeed, my friend. Your Majesty. Everything ready? Everything. Pistols and powder. Ready. The road to Bly Fortress. Jacopo will guide us. Like an arrow. Horses saddled? Our fastest. Then, my friend, let's ride. No pistols. We don't want the whole garrison down on us. to the king for me. My uncle must know the truth. I did not want him murdered. I beg you, help me. Well, you can read the note yourselves. I can't escape. The first one to reach for his weapons will regret it. Drop your sword. Now the key. Cristo, the keys. Mario, our prisoner. But who are you? A man too worried about his neck to answer questions now, Duchess. But surely I owe you. You a... owe me nothing but your ability to ride a horse and fast. Come quickly.
rendezvous. But, but you're wounded. Do as I say. We shouldn't have listened to him. He was wounded. Oh, thank goodness we'd given up hope. Jacopo, Mario, saddle up. We must leave at once. You're wounded. The road will be crowded with soldiers and police. It'll mean our lives if we stay here. Well, at least, will you tell me who you are? The Count of Monte Cristo at your service. Monte Cristo? But you're one of Louis's most loyal supporters. It'll be time for explanation later, my dear lady. Hurry! Another roadblock. Muffle the horse's feet. Not that way, either. Are all the roads covered? Yes, sir. Good. I will remain here. My tent is at your disposal, sir. Thank you. You will awake me at once if any of our patrols route them out. At once, Commandant. So, they have sent Commandant Xavier to find us. They must want us back very badly. Sevier. You know him? I have good reason to. Wait. They're bound to find me. Trust us. I do. But you've done enough. If I give myself up, you can escape. They don't know who you are. I'm afraid they do know. What's more important, I promised your uncle to get you safely out of the country. My uncle knew? Considering that you attempted to take his life, his leniency should be on your conscience forever. Monsieur, you must believe me. I had nothing to do with the assassination attempt. I gave strict orders to Thiers that there should be no violence. Thiers? It was Thiers who planned to overthrow Louis. I thought it was only to be a political coup. Thiers deceived me. Believe me, I did not want my uncle to die. Could you prove all this if I were to take you to your uncle? Yes. I can tell him the name of every man involved, beginning with Commandant Sevier. Sevier? He's one of them. But why did you lend your name to even a political coup? Our former king, Charles X, was my father-in-law. I felt that France had been done an injustice when Louis' government replaced him. To say that I'm sorry would sound stupid. I've still much to learn of government and politics. This means we cannot take you out of the country. 
Your evidence will be needed in Paris to convict Thiers and all the others. But how can we get there? You said yourself that a patrol would stop us before we got halfway. We either be Paris or our next, my dear lady. Well, our next aren't very safe this close to Commandant Sevier. You're quite right. So let's get closer, Jacopo. Do you know what we have to do? You wait here, Duchess. Up. No need to awaken your poor, tired men. What is this? My earnest advice to you, Sevier, is that you make not so much as a squeak. Get the Duchess, Jacopo. I don't know what you expect to gain by coming back here. But I'm sure that my guards will be only too happy to oblige you. Oh, you are going to oblige me more than you think. You dare to threaten me here? Would you rather I prove my point with this? Order them to stand fast. Do not interfere! You are very wise. There are many other soldiers in this area who will be here. Who will never know what's happening here. Any further argument? What do you want? A message is delivered to the king and safe escort for all of us to Paris. Lieutenant, you will deliver this directly to His Majesty. And if you're curious as of its contents, I will enlighten you. It informs His Majesty to meet me at my chateau, so that the Duchess may deliver her evidence against you and everyone else involved in the revolutionary plot of Monsieur Thiers. And just to make sure it is delivered as I wish. Mario will accompany you. You must believe me. I knew nothing of a plot against the king. Good. Then you'll do exactly as Mario requests. Will you be able to make it to Paris? Oh, I think so. With a new bandage and some new clothes, which I'm certain the commandant will provide. Chateau. You received my message, Your Majesty. With your tears. I warned you, Christelle. How did you know to come here? The eyes of a statesman never close, Christo. You should know that. Apparently, those eyes can read through sealed envelopes. 
You should also know that all of the king's correspondence passes through my hands. You're quite right. I should have known that. I'm sorry. But after what has happened, you must realize I have no alternative. Tears, listen to me. These men are innocent. But unfortunately, my dear Duchess, I am not. <laughs> this is hardly a propitious time for any of you to discuss my little eccentricities. Little eccentricities? Such as the attempted assassination of King Louis? Ah, a blundered attempt. The next time will be a little more professional. But we have talked enough. I am sorry to have to cut your stay in Paris so short. First, may I congratulate you on the clever way in which you have handled this. Thank you, monsieur. You're a gallant loser. Thank you. I hope you will be the same. What do you mean? Your Majesty. Allow me to explain, Pierre. Christo meant he wanted me to hear your confession. Therefore, he had Mario and the lieutenant make certain that you would read that letter. Then Mario conveyed its contents to me. You will place Monsieur Pierre and Commandant Sevier under immediate arrest. Allow me to congratulate you, Monsieur Le Comte, on the clever way in which you handled this. If I may borrow a phrase from you, my dear Thiers. The fortunes of war. And now, my dear niece, let us consider your fate. Gentlemen, let's drink to His Majesty, the most generous and benevolent king. And to the beautiful Duchess, who was able to take her neck to Italy all in one piece. Ah, the Duchess. She's a lovely young woman, Edmund. <laughs> I wonder what Italy would be like in the spring. Mm -hmm.